This is from Gabriel. Hey, Mr. Theo Vaughn. My name is Gabriel. Uh, big fan of the podcast. Been listening to everyone that I, that I can. I got a question for you. Uh, you ever had a hamster go south on you? Like, uh, through all your years, it sounds like you're pretty, uh, you got an expertise in handling hamsters. They seem like fuzzy, furry animals, and that's why people want to buy them. But you ever have a hamster go ballistic on you? Like an H go B? You know, shit goes south, you never know what's gonna happen. If you got a story about it, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, man, keep up the good work. Huh. I'll, uh, I'll be listening, man. You have a good one. Okay. Peace. All right, Gabriel. Um, have you ever had a hamster that went, that went crazy? Yeah. Uh, some of you guys know or don't know that I grew up in a hamster breeding area. Um, used to work at this place, Bertram's, one of my first jobs. They would sell hamsters and ground game, you know, small. I mean, some people pushed it as exotic meats. It was pets. It was everything, you know, bait. Um, you know, just small animals, guineas, hams, um, g pigs, uh, rats, mice, nutria. Um... And I remember, now one thing, if you don't know this about hamsters, hamsters will, if the, a lot of times birthing makes the mothers very nervous. And they will, uh, it's kind of a bummer to say, but they'll eat their young. They will get rid of their young. I mean, they're basically, they're the Casey Anthony of, of, uh, of small ground game. And this, um, one time we had, we had a hamster that, you know, had some children, this lady, this lady hamster, had some children, um, knocked off her own children, you know, just straight up got super Italian on them, and then started uh, killing other hamsters' children, and that I'd never seen before, and they had a dude that worked at the hamster place who was like, I'm going to take care of them, um, and I thought, you know, he'd poison him or something, but he, he took him and shot him in the head, dude, uh, you know, and I hate to say that, you know, I've had some issues with animals, I accidentally, you know, uh, killed that deer with that lawnmower when I was working on a, on a soybean and cotton farm, um, and that still haunts me, man, still haunts me, dude, if you have not been through I mean, we've all got our own little Vietnams, and that was one for me, man. Just driving this, you know, six, eight-foot grass, and, oh, and you just, you hear that, you hear Bambi go, Bambi go down, Bambi go down. Um, but anyway, yeah, this hamster got rogue, and it was just killing a local hamster children, and this dude, I thought he'd poison it or something, but then what an, who goes and shoots a hamster in the head? head bro you know what i'm saying this dude is straight up i mean that's that's intense man that's really really intense you know uh i feel like that's like i don't even know what that is that's unnecessary for sure you know do something poison it do something but but yeah this guy took it outside and shot it so i guess gabriel that would be your answer man um that's one of the only times I had a hamster go B on me. I had an H go B. But, I mean, they'll bite you. Well, the, And the hamsters we're getting now a days, Gabriel, I can't even tell you if they're safe or not because a lot of these hamsters, uh, they're from Russia. Um, if you look at them, they're angry. They're small. They're meek. They look like premature babies. Um, they're red-eyed, red-handed. Just already look real, real scattered like they're alcoholics or... You know, maybe in cocaine anonymous meetings, they look like hamsters you would meet in a place like that. So I'm I am concerned about the, you know the the ground game that that's currently coming through America because a lot of that market went abroad, a lot of that market went to Russia. So who knows? Maybe Trump will bring some of that abroad back uh, back to the U.S. We'll see. 